The best part about Betty and what made me fall in love with the show was how authentic the show felt. And I remember pausing it and looking at my friends and going, there's no way someone wrote that. My name is Aida Osman. I'm a story editor at Betty. My name is Wally Barham and I'm a staff writer on Betty. I wanted to write in college and all of the comedy writing was so white men dominated. I knew there was no place for me there. That's when I started doing stand-up and decided that was gonna be my avenue to writing. I've always known I wanted to go into TV writing. Mindy Kaling was my absolute idol. With her as a model, I took some book from the 80s about writing for the sitcom and wrote my first pilot. We wrote this episode during COVID, which was a whole new writer's room experience for me. With everything going on between the pandemic and the social movements, it's easy to feel really bogged down by that but we eventually turned it into inspiration. Like, we from this neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Black-owned businesses shutting down left and right, yo. Yeah? We had the girls in the writer's room. We had their voices, and we could inject that into the script. I can't stand when I'm watching something, and I see diverse characters on screen, but I don't hear it. When writing this, we were thinking, would this character say this? How would they say it? We were focusing on what was authentic to these specific girls. If you're going to be here, you need to be putting in work. I wish I had seen this as a kid in Nebraska, looking at characters that looked like me, acted like me, but didn't put labels on themselves. These girls are so free. In two years, robots will be writing for us, so <laughs> let's enjoy it while we can. <laughs> <laughs>